and here we are. Here we are, another week, another brand to smell. Hi, hello, welcome to Smell This. My name is Liz, and today I'm doing ginger beer in the fancy glass. Ooh, yeah, I know I like ginger beer. I love ginger ale, and ginger beer is, I don't pick it up and then put it down, but very nice, and this is good. Mm -hmm. Who does that? Okay, hope you all have been doing great. I found a new hobby. I made candles last week. I also made a huge mess, huge mess, and I, I need to buy something I can pour wax from into the things without making a huge mess because I just used a pan and um, a saucepan, really. <laughs> anyway, huge mess, but I made candles. Oh my gosh. Anyway, yeah, I know. No, it's, uh, I plan on trimming it. Don't worry. Um, I'm very excited about it. Anyway, lots of fun. And the cool thing is, is that I have so many perfumes left over from this entire adventure. I can just dump oils into the wax and voila. I know, exciting, huh? Okay, so we're doing zoologist perfumes. Sorry, zoologist perfumes. Um, they are based in Toronto, um, created by a fella named Victor Wong. And uh, 2013, all of their perfumes are safe, and they don't they don't source anything from animals. So completely safe and vegan, absolutely. So fantastic. There's three perfumers. I didn't catch their names because who has patience for that? Anyway, oh, also, if you watched the last one, the one I did with Henry Rose, I did reach out to Henry Rose, and I said, hey, uh, I was missing some samples. Please send. In fact, I sent them um, the, the the video, and I don't know, maybe they watched it. Who knows? Anyway, so I'm hoping to get the rest of the samples that didn't come originally. Hoping to get those, and then we'll just add those in to something. I don't know. Anyway, zoologist perfumes. There are I didn't count how many they have. They a lot. Okay, a lot, and the price range is pretty pricey. It's um. Like 165 to 195 for two milliliters. I got a box of six samples. This I think cost me forty dollars, which is not something I would normally do. But I figured, why not? You know, I've been I've been dying to try them. So yeah, let's jump in and see what it's all about. I wanted to. Um, I don't remember which ones I bought. They have a couple of different sample sets you can try. Um, and I didn't remember what I bought, so I have half pre-filled out cards. Um, but anyway, I'm going on. Okay, invoice exciting. Yes, oh, there's a little note. Dear Elizabeth, thank you for your purchase. Best regards, Victor. Oh, thanks, Victor. Oh, that is so sweet. And look, 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 look. Look, Aaron Stationery. Isn't that adorable? Nightingale is one of their perfumes. I'm not sure if it's in this box or not, but we'll find out. Oh, that's really sweet. Nice touch. Nice touch. Okay, here we go. Voila. I think they're all here. <laughs> I know. After last week's incident, I was like, maybe I should open ahead of time to see. But it felt heavy. So, anyway. Here we are. That's six. No, that's seven. Oh, I've got seven. Oops. I've got six cards. No. I've got six there. I've got seven. Okay. Well, let's jump in, shall we? Again, I don't remember what I got. We're going to find out together. Ooh, the adventure, the mystery, the dodo. I really, look how cute. This is really, this is really cute. Like, this is the dodo. Um, and on the inside, you've got description, I guess. How cool. Oh, and it has the notes on the inside, too. Wow, and it says which perfumer invented it. Or created it, I should say. This is created by Joseph Delap. Sounds Dutch, I guess. Um, this is this. Is, ooh, wow! All right, I shouldn't read the notes. Don't read the notes. Okay, these are two milliliters, large, rather cool. Um, I really do quite love that little insignia they have. It's um, look at that. It's I think a Z. Yeah, it's a really elaborate Z. Whoa, I love it. My name is Liz. I actually signed my name Z. Just Z. <laughs> I know. 
It's true. Okay, so this is the dodo. Um, whoa, knock me over. Hello. Hello. For some reason, this reminds me of my mother. I think she would love this one. Dodo. Hmm. This is heavenly. This is this is very nice. I can see why they cost what they cost. You can tell. And the staying power. Oh, that that. Mm. But still, for staying power, still I'm gonna say it. 1969 from um, Histoire de Parfum. It just stays with me all day. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna buy it. Okay. This says uh, Fern Mime Lychee Raspberry. Raspberry. That's top notes. Um, heart notes, ambergris, which of course, you know, it's not, they're not really using ambergris. Of course, they're not using ambergris. No, you can get it. <laughs> Fir balsam, geranium rose, base notes, amber, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. What an interesting now. Patchouli and sandalwood, I can totally see that going together, but the patchouli with the fern, that's not something I would have thought. And it is really working here. It's, it's, got a mature kick to it, but not like stodgy, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Did I put Ziploc baggies on my shop? I'm going shopping later, so I don't know where Ziploc baggies I don't remember if I put them on my list. I don't think I did. Anyway, yeah, so this is really nice. I'm really looking forward to trying this one at work tomorrow. That one's... Ooh. Well, there's a little hint of raspberry. There's the fruit. It's there's the tang. There's the psh, you know, right in your face. Hmm. It's very fresh. It's fresh with a hint of musk and mature. And you know what? This is just this is really ambitious, experimentally ambitious. And I really, I really don't. The first one, the dodo, not bad at all. Look at he's wearing a really cool, like what is it, 17th century thing on. <laughs> Change your beer. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, this is fantastic. What a wonderful first offering. Okay, moving on. Voila. Okay, there we go. This is the elephant. And I believe I chose this collection because it had an elephant. It's my favorite animal in the elephants. They're so wise. They're so compassionate. They're so kind. I saw this wonderful documentary about... Um, had to have been in Africa. Well, I guess it could have been in Asia. Or, yeah. Anyway, but it was Africa, if I recall, um, about an elephant sanctuary and, you know, elephants who had been um, victims of, you know, their family members had been poached and killed for their tusks. Um, the sanctuary was just filled with phenomenal people who were keeping them alive and the babies, you know, were like, being well cared for. And anyway, I was crying buckets. I really was during this whole thing. And I just, I just fell in love with elephants. <laughs> absolutely. And that's, that's my favorite animal. Yeah. So after my dog, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Elephant. He's wearing a lovely sash. Perhaps he's from India. We do have elephants in Asia. They're just the small elephants in Asia. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. I didn't even really look at the dodo one. Hang on. Oh, that's now. Maybe I should put some in there. Sorry, the dodo is kind of kind of rebounded back on me, and I don't really want to. Oh yeah, okay, check that. Out. That's nice. These are nice touches. They really are. You know, this is very professional. Very professional. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon. The elephant uh, was created by perfumer Chris Bartlett, and uh, don't read the notes until I can't figure it out. That's the rule, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to say, uh, even though they were created in 2013, they didn't make it into the perfume book. I, I looked, but they, they're, they're not in here, unfortunately. They probably are online. Uh, I'm sorry. They probably are. These people, these wonderful people, Tanya Sanchez and Luca Turn, have um, a huge database online. Uh, I shouldn't put the link. I should do that. Anyway, I'm sure they're on online. What? Chocolate. This must be rum. There's rum in here. Chocolate. It smells very rich. Very rich. Um, masculine. Rather masculine. Um, 
scholarly even. It smells wise. It does. Just like an elephant. <laughs> It's nice. That chocolate is like, I'm not sure. I mean, it's kind of cocoa. Okay. Oh, jasmine? What? Darjeeling tea. Mmm. It's got a very animalistic musk to it that I'm not quite loving. But there's something here that I do find intriguing. I'm going to come back to that one. Well, of course, we'll do a redux when we're all done. Um, but write down this, write it down. Because, of course, I didn't fill out the names of the animals that I had gotten. Not all of them are animals. There's a moth in here, I think. I think I got the moth. I'm not really sure. We'll find out. It's an adventure. It's a safari adventure. Okay. Um, boom, what's next? We've got... Oh, he's a koala, and he's off to the um, he's off to go boating on his boat. <laughs> <You're cute. laughs> Sweet little koalas, they've had one hell of a couple of years, but they're coming back. They are, yes, they are. Look at this adorable little oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at his face. Don't you just trust his little face? I do. Goodness, yes. Okay. Koala! <clears throat> Focus! Right. Cool. I don't think they have a squirrel. I think they did. I don't think I get it. Sorry. Smell like nuts. That's the sheep. Spicy. Dash of cinnamon in here. It smells like a really yummy tea, TBH. Oh. Well, I watering. I may have put too much on. Um, really, I can't say I really care for it. Um, okay, this one's like really, but there's a vetiver. It does have eucalypt, eucalyptus as a, as a top note. But, and menthol honey. Probably great for sore throat, but I, 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 I can't really say that I could wear it. <laughs> But it does smell like um, a yummy tea. It really does. Speaking of teas, I believe next week, well, I hope it arrives in time. I think it will. Um, Posey Perfumes. I'm doing another. <laughs> I had such a good time with the last one. I really did. And I got some of their tea. They sell tea and perfume. And something else, too. I can't remember what. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that one again. So. Just one more. It's, it's it's very um it's very okay. Next up is the macaque, the monkey. Isn't he cute? Look at his little face. He looks quite wise, also. Oh, I just love this presentation. As we all know, I'm just a poor for packaging. Okay, macaque. Uh, so probably Asian um, influences here. I'm excited because we all know how much I love an Oriental Woo -hoo -hoo! perfume. Okay. Um, I'll do there. So I'm checking on Flower because she's over there in the window. And normally I don't. I mean, I, I like to make sure she's contained because she has some issues with bladder control, but as long as I can keep my eye on her, we're okay. Um, and Bobo is leaving her alone like a good boy. Okay. Mm, that is, yeah. Oh. Also heavenly. Hello, wait. I'm getting a hint of glue. <laughs> Yeah, this dried down to glue. Um, okay, uh, top notes, cedar, green apple, red mandarin, heart, heart notes? Uh, I guess that would be notes. Um, frankincense, galbanum. I don't know what that is. Um, base notes are green tea, white oud. White oud, which I've not encountered before. 
for, I don't think. And that could be the glue that I'm smelling because it's rather, it just smells, food by itself smells like a cleaning product. It smells like a really heavy varnish is what it smells like. It's just undeniably, Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back. All right. Ooh, ooh, what is it? It's macaque. So I have to write it down. Maybe I'm putting it in the bag. So the piece of macaque. That sounds right. <laughs> Don't often run into macaques in Colorado. Okay. <laughs> Rather sit on the ground. Rather sit in the air. <laughs> Sorry, I was quoting my favorite um, comedian, Eddie Izzard. Do you all know Eddie Izzard? My favorite. Love him. Love him. He's my face. I've seen him. I've seen him twice live. He's fantastic. I love him. Okay. So this next one is Panda. And he looks like he's ready to go out into town. Of course they would put him in a tux. Of course they would. <laughs> Very pretty. Uh, did I mention they're two milliliter bottles? They are a bit pricey. However, the first one, the Dodo, I... Mm, you know, I think later, and of course, I'm going to take a little break. I'll probably come back at some point. I'm not sure when, um, but I'm going to take a little break. But they have so many to choose from. I anticipate buying some more. So at some point, who knows when, we'll do the same. Moss. This is fun. This one is fun. This one's really hard to pin down. This one is... is this one's a challenge. Bergen, bergamot? <clears throat> oh, sandalwood, vanilla, jasmine, no bergamot, mandarin. Let's see if I'm getting that. Um, it does say civet base notes, which is from the civet cat. Civet, civet. Um, this is not from, like I said, these are vegan, right? They, they don't harm animals. They would not. I, all of these are named after animals. They wouldn't do that. Mm, speaking of animals, I started watching David Attenborough's program on Netflix. He has so much to teach us. And he is a gift. And he is a treasure. And this program, which I think is called Life on This Planet, I could be wrong. It's... It's beautiful and it's heartbreaking because we have to fight for it. And that's what David Attenborough, Sir David Attenborough, has been doing all his life. And he's given us a treasure with this uh, documentary. So I highly recommend it. I'm really enjoying it. Beautiful. It really is. He's just a marvelous man. I can't say enough. Beautiful man. Oh, this is Sloth. Look what he's wearing. <gasps> Sorry. Pop it out. Okay. Oh, it's quite dark. Look at that. The rest of these have been clear. What? This is sloth. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, sloth. And there's some like bottle resting on moss, covered rocks, and a really cool statue face. That's beautiful. Well, I ever put these together, it's just absolutely genius. Okay, so sloth. Again, I've not seen a perfume this color before. <laughs> That's the thing about these perfumes is they are different, very different. What is this? Masculine, heavily masculine, heavy. Does smell a bit stodgy, like a what's the opposite of an angel food cake? You know, just you know, an angel food cake is super like. Oh, I've also been watching Great British Bake Off. Uh, anything British, I'll watch it. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Um. Anyway, angel food cake is very light and airy. It's just eggs and sugar. That's all it is. This is the opposite of that. This is like a fruit cake. Yeah. It smells. Like a fruitcake, which is not horrible, but I can't say I'd jump in here 
vanilla and tonka beans. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It says lavender, but it's very slight. Um, hmm. We'll come back. Heavily masculine. And a little bit. I'll come back. <laughs> Indeed. Don't forget to put on baggies on your list. <sighs> okay, and here's a surprise one because I thought I just got six, but apparently I got seven. Um, I think they come in packages of seven, I assume, unless they gave me a bonus. I thought I was just buying six. Um, anyway, so there might be a bonus. <clears throat> Pardon. Um, so just, this is the chameleon. I'm not going to even attempt to spell that right now. Um, I'm just going to put it in a bag and call it good. Okay, so this is chameleon. Oh, sorry. sorry. And it's got kind of a different layout. It's got the silver instead of the gold, which I think is kind of cool. Look at that fellow. That's kind of cheeky. I do like his Magnum PI shirt, don't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Fresh, fresh, mm. iris, fern, what else is in here? This is like a really fantastic just green garden, no flowers, just green. Dash of honeysuckle, wow, it's in the really gun. Something called Oh, Poppinax, y'all. Do you see that? Poppinax? What even does that mean? I don't know. I've never heard of that. French Pammy. Cool. This is clove, but this isn't heavy. This is fresh. This smells like a tropical paradise, is what this smells like. This is, but not like floral. You know what I mean? Because again, not a huge fan of floral. What I say, but I keep running into nice ones. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, sorry. Yes, this is a nice, I would say, this could be a feminine. Sorry, let me rephrase. This could be masculine, but it's probably a feminine. But again, as you will. As you will. You do as you do. Oh, because it's National Coming Out Day. You wear whatever you want. And congratulations, everybody. Happy National Coming Out Day. It's a beautiful day. Well, it is a beautiful day. Gosh darn it, it sure is. And it's only getting better, okay? It really, really is, I promise. Okay, let's just do a quick run through. Um, completely put together. Okay, this is Dildo again. Probably still my favorite. Oh, and that chameleon is nice. Wow. What? The dry down is exponentially different from your first impression. And I still love it. This is so, these are interesting. This is, this is a chameleon. This changed. This changed a lot, but not bad, not at all. Still very, reminds me of my mother. I, I don't know if she would wear this, but I really want her opinion on this one. I really do. And maybe, hopefully, next spring. Next spring, I'll go get some them. <sighs> okay, so still amazing. But it's a different animal now. Literally. Elephant, which I recall was too enthused. It did smell wise. It still smells wise. Cocoa, cocoa, chocolate. Definitely nice layering hair of kind of sweet musk, sweet musk. This is fabulous. <sighs> but the dry down is really fascinating. I will be buying more. I don't really care at this point what they cost. If they are this 
inventive and innovative. I, I'm thrilled to try more. I really, really am. Okay, and we have Koala. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at his picture again. He's the cutest one. He's so cute. Love you. Okay. Sounds a bit more cheerful. Can you bottle cheerful? Apparently you can. I like it. It's it smells just a tish juvenile, but not in a cheap way. I would never can ever ever use cheap to describe this brand. That would be that's foolish. They put a lot of thought and effort into these. Hmm. It's, but do you remember when I said the dodo smelled rather mature? This is not as mature, but that's fine. That's fine. This is probably a really safe daytime perfume. I'm not going to offend anyone with this. And it does. It smells cheery. It smells a bit like sunshine. Hmm. It's like a koala. So cute. Okay, what was next? <clears throat> Pack, which if I recall, I wasn't really digging, but again, dry down can change exponentially within 20 minutes. So just, oh my goodness, do not rush a perfume. Don't. I am rushing a perfume right now because I really like to keep these under 30 minutes. And it does, it still smells a little. Bobo, Bo, leave her alone. Bobo, honey, she'll cut you. Flower travels with a stiletto. Trust me, she'll cut a bitch. She's cutting stuff up. <laughs> with love. Come on, baby. Come here. Come here. I know you want to be her friend. I know. I know. Okay, and that was my cat. Uh, still kind of smells like uh, furniture varnish polish. Okay, Panda was next, and if I recall, I enjoyed it. This was the oriental type. I'm getting a pair. Dry down is killing me. What is going on here? Maybe that's the apple. It says there's apple in here. And now you're getting it. You have to... Don't rush your perfume. I don't think I would buy this. I still do like it. It's very... It's... it's these are hard to pin down. They're so imaginative. And that's... I mean, I can't, I love that, all right? Not everything should smell like Chanel number five. That's, we can't all smell the same. It's a bad idea. And it's an individuality. And these are proving that they have that. Okay, it's lost, if I recall. Not a fan. It smelled a bit like, um, it smelled like a, a sloth's armpit. I'll just say it. No, 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 no. It smells like Christmas now. <laughs> it smells like Christmas. It just smells like a, a crock pot full of cider and um, clove and, and some cinnamon. <sighs> and maybe a library. I didn't like it before, but I do now. But it's still very masculine. It smells like a really posh library in England. Um, mm. Okay, I do. I do. Can't stop getting my nose in it. I'm getting some incense. Yeah, there's something kind of wood smoky in here as well. This innovative. Innovative? Innovative? Happy life. Um, okay, chameleon. Last. I really quite liked it. It smells very fresh. I did the initial. Let's see what it smells like now. Wow, again, with the 
Oh my goodness. Oh, this is marvelous. This is so this is marvelous. I mean, it just, it smells fresh. It smells fresh and rich at the same time. Such a hard combination. This one is really killing it. Yeah, I really love chameleon, uh, dodo chameleon, um, that sweet little chipper koala, absolutely. Mm. This has been quite an adventure. Thank you, Zoologist Perfumes. I got my mind blown. Thank you. We'll be doing more, okay? They have several to choose from. We'll be doing more later. Don't know what. I'll get, I'll get a little back stock going and we'll do it again maybe next year. I don't know. Anyway, that was Zoologist Perfumes. That was fantastic. I will include a link so you can check out the website. The website is quite cheeky and fun as well. Read the About Us. Um, really enjoyed that a lot. Um, next week, going to do, I believe, Posy Perfumes if they arrive on time. And if they don't, then I have something else. Uh, because a good friend from, oh, Katrina, from that, that I met in Sequoia BL in the Facebook group um, was really sweet. And she sent me a bunch of perfumes just out of the blue, which is all I really wanted <laughs> was just for someone to send me perfumes <laughs> during all of this. And she's sending me perfumes. And she sent me perfumes. So we're probably going to do those and maybe finish up the Sequoia BL. I have five left that I haven't done yet from, from them. And um, then the last one for a while will be from Hex and Oct. That'll be the Halloween episode and I'll make it I don't know, a little creepy. Maybe if there's a ghost I can have come in and just pop in and say hello. Um, I've got to do some shopping. Ziploc bags. Okay. I hope you all are doing so great. Hang in there. It's going to get better. I promise you. I promise you. Happy National Coming Out Day. Love you benches. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Okay, love you both.